Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at exporting slides from a slideshow as JPEG images and how you can control the size of the JPEG that you get. Now a couple of things before we begin and one of them is that you're only ever going to get a 96 dpi image out of PowerPoint. PowerPoint can't save an image at a higher resolution, a JPEG image at a higher resolution than 96 dpi. However, there is a potential registry hack for anybody who wants to know how to do it. I'm going to put a link in the description below. It's not something that I would typically recommend, certainly not something that I'm going to do, but there is a possibility for a registry hack if you want to increase the resolution. It's a default resolution. But given that we're going to be exporting at 96 dpi, API. Let's see how the size of the image can be altered. So I'm going to the Design tab here and we're just going to have a look and see what we've got. We've got a widescreen format right now. This is just the PowerPoint typical presentation size. So let's go and save this particular slide as a JPEG image. File, Save As. We're going to browse and this is the location I'm using. We're going to select from this list JPEG and then we're going to give the file a name. So I'm just going to call this slide one. And I'll click save. And I'm going to be prompted as to which slides I want to export. I get a choice of everything or the one that I was focused on. When I chose to save the slide, I'm just going to save one of them. So that's now saved and let's have a look and see what it is. So this is the actual PowerPoint presentation. Here's the slide I just saved. Here are its dimensions, 1280 by 720. And if we look in the properties panel in the details area, we're going to see that the resolution is 96 dpi. So that is the default but it's this size that's concerning me. It's 1280 by 720. So that is a 720p image. But what I use these slides for potentially is to go into a video and so I want them to be 1080p. So that means that they need to be 1920 by 1080 in dimension. Otherwise I have to scale them every time. So let's go and see how I would set that size. And as we do that we're going to see how you could set it to any size that you like. So let's go back to here and let's go to slide size because this is where we do it. And we're going to custom slide size. So what we're seeing here is that this slide currently is 13.33 inches wide and 7.5 inches tall. Interesting. Let's go and grab a calculator and see what's happening here. So when we exported this file, we ended up with something that was 1280 pixels wide. So I'm going to type 1280 and I'm going to divide it by 96, which is what we know the DPI of the image was. And when we do that, we get 13.333, the exact width of this slide. Let's clear this and let's go and have a look at what 720, which was the height of the JPEG that we just saved, divided by 96 is going to give us is 7.5 inches. That's the 7.5 inches we're seeing here. So we've got a mathematical way of referencing the width in inches to the actual number of pixels that we get in the image that we receive when we save it in PowerPoint. So let's go and say I want to use 1920 as my width. I'm going to divide that by 96 and that's telling me I need a 20 inch wide slide to be able to save it at my desired width. So I'm going to change this to 20 inches. Back to my calculator. Let's go and see what 1080, which is my desired height, is going to look like in inches. Well, it's going to be 11.25 inches. So let's go and make that change. I'm going to click OK. Now, in some instances, when you change the size of a slide, you may get a warning. Let's just go and see what the warning's going to look like. This is what you would get. And so you would need to choose between ensure fit or maximize. And typically, maximize is probably what you want to do. But we didn't get that warning. We're not worried about that right now. So now let's go and see what happens when we save this slide again. Again, we're going to do the exact same slide, although the entire slideshow is now this new size. So it wouldn't matter which slide we saved. File, Save As. I'm calling it slide one, larger size, JPEG, Save. 
just this one slide is going to be saved and let's check our folder. So here is the larger version, here is its size 1920 by 1080 and when we go to the properties tab I'm going to have a look here in the details and we've got the size that we want and the resolution that PowerPoint is able to give us. So when you need to export either a slide or an entire slideshow from PowerPoint at a particular size, you now have the skills that you need to determine what size that's going to be. If you know the pixel value, you're just going to divide that by 96 to get how many inches wide or tall your slide needs to be so that when you save it as a JPEG image, it's going to be saved at the size that you need. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.